Now today, I'm just going to do a, a demo on how to brush a door using um, water-based paints or acrylics. Now I've already gone through, I've dusted the door down, I've gone through and painted the edges. So all I need to do now is the face. So if you're going to brush a door, one thing you want to do is make sure you've got a decent sized brush. Now this is a 75mm or 3 inch brush. Um, it'll be easier if you use a slightly larger brush than using a small, a small brush. When you're actually brushing a door, you want to brush it as quick as you can. So if you're using a small brush, it's going to take you a long time to do it, which means the paint will most likely dry um, before you have a, job, a chance to do it properly. So what I'll do now is I'll start at the top. Um, I've got plenty of paint on the brush. I'll do that top bit. I'll come down that side, trying not to get paint on that edge. I'll dip the brush again, get plenty on there. And now I'll start spraying the paint out. Now being water-based paint, you don't want to be doing this on a bright sunny day, on a hot day. Um, would be best to do it um, either first thing in the morning or maybe in the evening. Um, at the moment it's sort of a coolish day so this is not going to dry too quick. So once I've done that, as you see I'll spread the paint out, start at the top and come down and brush back up. This is actually, or well, they class this as laying off, so now I'm laying the door off. So I've done that little section, that's finished. So now I start again up the top, cut the top bit in, go down that side. Well, there's a tiny run there from last time, I shall fix that up after. So I've gone down the hinge side once again. Spread the paint out. Now I'll start at the top. And once again, I'll lay it off. And making sure I brush back into what I've just done. So now I've done that little bit, there's a couple of bugs there. Now I've done the top, I'll do the middle. So once again, when you're joining onto the top bit, go sideways. Take a little bit of care around where the door handle was. You don't want paint running from there afterwards. And as I said, really, you want to do this as quick as you can. You don't want to give the paint a chance to dry. So I've done that section. Once again, I'll lay off and I'll go back into what I've just done. You notice how far I'm brushing back in? This way, it eliminates any join marks. So this time I'll cut this edge in first. Like so. Once again, apply the paint. Make sure you brush it out fairly evenly if possible. Then I'll lay it off again. And as I said, I'm definitely going quite a way into the existing paint. And that's the reason why you want to do it quickly so the paint stays wet. Now just move the camera. Now just do this bottom section and it's basically the same as the top or the other bit. Let's do the edge. Well, tape come off. And that was a bug I just painted over. So 
So once again, spread the paint out. out then lay it off again and as you notice I'm brushing back well into the previous section as I said you don't want to see any join marks so down the side again now if you were to hit your door frame I wouldn't worry you can always touch that up, but you don't want to go painting the door again. So I wouldn't stop to clean the door frame off. So basically, if you hit the door frame like that, just leave it, finish your door, and then come back and clean that up after. So the door will take you longer to repaint if you let it to dry then it will attach that bit of door frame up. So once again, lay it off. And there you go. One door finished. So the biggest thing with the door, if you're using um, water-based paint, is to make sure you're doing it on a cooler day um, if this was in the middle of summer on a hot day, it would be very awkward to do. So that's just been a demo on how to brush a door using water-based paint.